Joe Zekas from YoChicago.com, and I'm here at the intersection of uh, Cullerton and Jefferson. And what, what do you call your neighborhood here? This is Pilsen. Pilsen. It's been Pilsen for a very, very long time. Some people call it East Pilsen. Well, now, yeah, East of Pilsen, <laughs> right. In the expressway this way, it's East of Pilsen, obviously. But uh, this is a, as you can see, it's pretty much a blighted, there's some blighted areas here, properties. Um, factories here, Joanna Plastic Company that's been here for ages, been here ever since I was born, and that is 38 years ago. And, and so, uh, you've lived in the neighborhood for how long now? 28 years. Now. 28 years, so you know the area well. Very well, very well. I grew up in this area, uh, grew up with a lot of people that have left the community now, have came, came back. And now it's, uh, you know, it's shaping up a little bit. You know, there's a lot of, I mean, down the street, you'll see a lot of condos over there and not a lot of new development. And we've got a block, uh, vacant block here that you tell me is gonna be redeveloped for condos? Uh, apparently that's uh, that's the word. Uh, we, in fact, I know that it's uh, pretty much happening. We got a letter in the mail about change of zoning and that. So there's plans. To, to develop in this area. And like I said, there's new development, new new people in, in the in the neighborhood, which is a good thing, you know, change is bound to happen. And it's, uh, as long as, you know, they they, uh, they take into consideration you know, there's people here that have been here for a long time. And, you know, it's always good to consider those people. Uh, and that is, you know, affordable housing, make, making sure that not everything, you know, goes up, property taxes go up to a point where you can't afford it and you gotta move out. So it's, it's, you know, people are always welcome. New development is always welcome. And uh, this is a very, very nice uh, neighborhood. What, what, do you like, what do you like best about it here? Well, everybody knows each other here. Uh, people are very friendly. It's always good to have friendly neighbors who you can count on. You know, you can leave your, your home and not have to worry about leaving your door sometimes unlocked. So, you know. In the city of Chicago, you can leave your door unlocked? Well, absolutely, here on Cullerton, we can. On this side of Cullerton, we actually can. You know, you can leave your gates unlocked, and everybody watches out for for each other. And you know, the, the important thing is that we develop to whatever it is, uh, whether it's new development, uh, new people coming into the neighborhood. As long as you know, we go forward, and that is to keep our, uh, a safe neighborhood, free of crime and drugs, and you know, raise our kids here. Where uh, where do you, where do your kids go to school around here? Well, here's uh, Walsh Elementary School right here. How, uh, uh, when you say I right went. here, when you say right here, how far is that? Canal Board and Halsted. Okay, so it's uh, a few blocks. So kids can walk. Ki kids can block the, can yeah, walk to the to the school, and also uh, I went there. I graduated from there, and then I went to Benito Juarez High School, which is Ashland and Cermak. Mm -hmm. And then uh, isn't that a new school? Didn't they build a, a new school? There's an expansion going on. Uh, it's it's a pretty. It was built originally back in 1968. But now it's getting an expansion, and I actually belong to the local school council there, and I was very instrumental in this uh, expansion of the school because the school is currently overpopulated by like 500 students. 500 students. 500 students. So it's getting a new expansion, uh, some some uh, sport fields there, and it's getting a, an auditorium, which is which is good for the neighborhood because the neighborhood is changing and it's growing. So. It's a very, very nice, uh, pleasant neighborhood here. Uh, crime uh, on this side of the expressway is has always been very minimal. So I've I've talked to some artists who've moved into the neighborhood, and uh, in fact, I was talking to a young lady who tells me she lives on the block up here, and there there's a little artist colony here. Oh yeah, uh, there's uh, actually on 18th on uh, 18th and Halsted down Halsted, they have uh, I believe three or four art walks a year. Okay. So there's a lot of artists uh, in the neighborhood. Okay, and one of the things that we like to promote is uh, cleaning and recycling. Okay. Cleaning and recycling. Okay. Thank you. you know, we need we need to promote the recy recycling aspect. Uh, we you know we need to help the environment. So you know teach new generations to implement that as part of their culture and that is recycling. So we're you know good neighborhood. Tell me about the block party. Uh, what's going on? You're gonna have some music out here, some food, some sure, barbecue. We're gonna have a lot of food. Usually, uh, we we do this every year, so it's an annual tradition. Everybody 
brings out their tables, uh, everybody cooks something different and we just walk around and taste everybody's food. We have uh, basically just for the kids to have some fun. We got a jumping jack over there. Uh, we're gonna have some piñatas and have a popcorn machine and just basically. A lot of kids on the street? Uh, pretty much, I would say there's about at least 25 kids. And then kids that have lived here and left, they come back. They come have back. Some fun and uh, neighbors come back to, to say hello. It's a small block, as you can see. There's only there's only a, like ten houses on the block, and and it's uh, it's not really an inconvenience to close the street because hardly any cars come through here, as it is. So uh, it, it works out for everybody.